tipping at seven. Lots of uncertainty about where people at a homeless camp downtown will go after they're forced to leave. Good evening and thank you for joining us. That camp is near third and plum streets downtown. The city says there is no deal to allow the camp to be moved to a new location. Not on your sides. Ashley Silka is live there with a look at where things stand right now. Ashley. Kristen, the city is sticking to its deadline. This notice says the area will be cleared by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, but things have changed. You can see the tents are still here. The homeless camp near 3rd and Plum Streets has been a busy one for the past few weeks. We believe that downtown's for everybody. It's not an us and them thing. But the homeless situation seems to have got sort of out of hand and got a lot worse than it was. Sue Byram is the president of the Downtown Residents Council. She, like many others, fear the camp is hurting downtown Cincinnati. The whole revitalization that the city's going through, it's affecting people. I mean, we've got people who have property managers who have buildings along 3rd Street who have had people break leases and not sign leases because they're scared. Samuel Landis with Maslow's Army told WCPO over the weekend that some people would move their tents to a new location east of downtown with the approval of city officials. We wanted to do something to show our gratitude. At first it was a, a shock and, and of course emotions were all over the place. So we're going to actually be leaving a day early to show respect for the city, for the citizens, for the businesses out here. But Monday night, acting city manager Patrick Duhaney threw a wrench in those plans, saying there was no such agreement. He said the city does not support relocating anyone from the camp anywhere other than a shelter or more permanent housing situation. We need a permanent solution and council says it's trying to work on one, but no one seems to be coming up with anything. And I think that's one of the things that we just don't know how to break through that. Landis did not want to go on camera today, but he did release a statement several hours ago. He said he's disappointed and frustrated with what the city manager had to say last night. We do now know Shelter House has agreed to house 20 people from this camp. Reporting live from downtown, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.